On today's episode of the IT Show, we'll talk about an integration that's been developed between the Azure IT team and the Qualcomm team. And we have a, a couple of champs from Qualcomm joining me on the IT Show through Skype to demo us a dev kit that's seamlessly integrated to Azure IT Hub. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, today we have Nagarju with us and we have some other Qualcomm folks to show us some cool demo on some device that connects to Azure IoT. Hey Nagarju, how are you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. How about you, Olivier? Um, I'm awesome. Uh, now we've figured out all this Skype thing and we have the connection set up. Uh, how about you introduce yourself and what your team is doing at Qualcomm and then we'll talk about the device, the demo and so forth. Absolutely. So basically, uh, I'm from uh, Industrial IoT Group from Qualcomm. Uh, primarily, we look at uh, chipsets that are applicable for industrial IoT segment. Uh, I'm director of product management, uh, leading software activities on industrial IoT chipset and also ecosystem enablement. That's primarily the function that, that I'm driving at Qualcomm. Awesome. So, like everyone knows Qualcomm for the chip that goes into cell phones and other types of devices, and now more and more know them for the IoT and industrial IoT devices. So, uh, one of the things that we like in IoT is having devices connected, right? Uh, so, I hear you guys have made some sort of integration with an existing dev kit that you have uh, and one of the chips to seamlessly integrate into Azure IoT, correct? Yep, absolutely, yep. So can you tell me a bit about this dev kit and, and actually what has been done, what kind of work uh, in terms of integration you guys have been um, doing with, with the Azure IT team? Absolutely. So actually, I mean, as, as uh, we started looking into the industry for the, the, the IoT applicability with, with the connectivity in need, uh, there is a new technology that's uh, uh, evolved, what is called LPWA. Uh, it's a low power wireless uh, technology. Uh, which is primarily needed for IoT use cases where you need power efficiency and bringing in lots of devices to the network. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that intention, LPWA technology came out. Basically what it supports is there are two specific uh, uh, WAN technologies, uh, CAT M1, it's also referred as EMTC, and NB-IoT. Those are the, the two uh, protocols that have been developed uh, for the IoT segment. So at Qualcomm, we actually developed uh, uh, MDM9206, which is a chipset that supports uh, these uh, standards, of course, along with uh, the existing 2G GPRS capability. So it's a multi-mode chipset that actually enables uh, devices to connect to the cloud and uh, serve the typical needs of the IoT segment, right, which could be a, a tracking device, a smart meter, or you can put it in a gateway, smart lighting. There are varieties of use cases where this LPWA technology is, is very much uh, applicable. And that's the chipset. Okay. Uh, primarily, we are driving, yeah. Okay. And, and I can see, uh, what I like in this scenario is that you don't need to have a gateway. These, these devices will then connect directly to the internet and then to the cloud, correct? Oh, that, that is true. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, in fact, uh, most of these devices would actually can, can connect to the not can, they will connect to the cloud directly. We also have a gateway product uh, which we can talk separately where we, we, we can still do the edge computing user, a separate portfolio of Azure with Qualcomm platform integrated. But today's talk is mostly going to be focused on uh, MDM9206 chipset which directly connects to the cloud. Awesome. And, and you guys have prepared a little demo, so I think we're going to switch to the demo and see uh, the dev environment, how you program for that board, how the integration works for the uh, Azure IoT SDK, and, and actually we're going to see the board connecting, the board doing some stuff, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So just to set up uh, the stage for the demo, uh, Qualcomm MDM9206 chipset, it has an integrated uh, application processor. Uh, so what what we would like to offer to the ecosystem is to enable cloud connectivity software stack to run on the integrated application processor, okay. which is very powerful. And as part of our overall objective, what we were really looking for is to have collaboration with uh, someone like uh, Azure, who has a broader uh, footprint in the cloud uh, for IoT, uh, where pre-integrating Azure IoT device SDK on Qualcomm platform 
would actually enable our customers and our customers' customers to leverage that pre-integration and develop an application that is needed for a specific vertical more easily. That's the objective. So awesome. with that, we had a great collaboration with uh, uh, with with you and your team yeah. to pre-integrate, and we have completed that. And that's what we are going to showcase in the development kit now. That's awesome. Just like can't wait to see it in action because definitely having a device that basically get you program your app, focus on what your business logic is about, and connectivity, connection to the cloud is all sorted out, all secure and so forth, integrated into the chip with the software. Love it. Let's let's check out the demo. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good, Olivier. How are you doing? Good. How about you introduce good. yourself? Because we have uh, Nagarjun you before, but we didn't get a chance to get you to introduce yourself to the, to the viewers here. Yeah, hi, my name is uh, Murli Bharadwaj. I am the Director of Engineering in uh, Qualcomm uh, Modem Software and uh, working on uh, cool IoT stuff with Nagaraju here, uh, trying to uh, make things a reality uh, with respect to IoT uh, services and IoT cloud connectivity uh, on, uh, on actual customer devices. That's my role. Awesome. Well, let's jump onto the cool stuff then. Like, uh, show us what you have and uh, share your screen and then uh, we'll get into that demo. Sounds good. Uh, so I'm starting to share my screen here. Uh, so hopefully you can see the screen here. Here we go. Yep, we can see it. All right, sounds good. And uh, um, I'm actually going to show, so, so basically what, what this demo is, is as Nagaraju explained, uh, you know, we have a live demo going. On mm -hmm. uh, a dev uh, dev board, uh, an IoT actual dev board, a dev kit, yeah. and uh, this has a Qualcomm 9206 uh, MDM chipset on it, and uh, it is connected, uh, as I said, to a live carrier network. Um, and then the the demo, the the, the chipset actually has the Azure, um, you know, cloud uh, pre-integrated, and the demo actually talks about how uh, easy it is for End user app, uh, end users to actually write uh, cool Azure applications, and you know how easy it is to enable to run these applications on this dev board. First of all, how to build the application using the Qualcomm uh, uh, IoT SDK that's provided okay. uh, to, the, to the users, and how do you actually use that toolkit to to write the application and to push the application into the Qualcomm chipset where the Azure cloud is actually pre-integrated, okay. and then to run the application so that. You, you know, these applications could be any sensor-based applications or any data collecting applications that would basically collect the data and then push it to the Azure cloud through the Qualcomm chipset. That's what the demo is about. Awesome. Well, let's make it happen. All right. So uh, here is the actual dev board uh, that I'm showing you right now. Okay. Uh, this is a, a real customer uh, dev board. And, uh, and now I'm going to actually show you... Uh, the uh, the demo. So on this on the left hand of the screen here, we have the application that's running okay. uh, that basically has been uh, developed by let's say an end user, mm -hmm. and this is a sample application of course that we are showing. And similarly, customers can write their own application with their own user menu, uh, or you know to to do uh, whatever they need to do to to collect the data and ship it to the Azure cloud. Okay. And as you can see on on the screen here, there are multiple options where initially. Uh, the, uh, the 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 data call is brought up from the sample application because it needs a data call connectivity to the Azure cloud, okay. and then there's a certificate application that if you're using it in a certificate mode, then you could be using the certificate app sub menu, okay. and then eventually you start once the data call is up and running, then you start the Azure application that basically either uses certificates or uses a connection string that's actually uh, uh, you know hardwired to, to the Azure cloud. Okay. And then you start running the application. Once you, once the application starts running, then you issue certain commands to collect the data from the application and then ship it to the Azure cloud. Right now, we obviously don't have any sensors connected to this dev kit board, but that's eventually how the customer devices would be running using sensor devices connected. But we're just using some uh, you know, random data here just to show a demo where the data is picked up from whatever is uh, you know, uh, predefined uh, or canned set of data uh, you know, in the application and then pump the data to the Azure Cloud. Okay. okay. So uh, basically, first uh, we start with the uh, starting the uh, uh, data uh, application here. Okay. So we uh, we go inside the sub menu 
and then we do uh, initialize and then we do a register and once we do a register then basically we st we set up the call And then we start the call. And these parameters, uh, you know, basically are saying that, you know, what APN we are going to be using, whether it's an automatic connection, you know, be, be depending on which network, LTE, GSM, right now we are using whatever automatic network is available okay. for the device to pick up. And it's a V4 or a V6 address. We're using V4 because that's what Azure supports today. Uh -huh. So everything is nicely set up for the applications to configure and use whatever options they want to use. Okay. And this is up and running, then we switch over uh, to the Azure app. And while wow. you're doing that, quick question for you. So all the code for these apps, the sample application that you're actually showing right now are provided, right? So people can just like get the source code for these apps and modify and adapt for their own application. That's correct. So sample applications are provided. And they, also there is a good amount of documentation on how to uh, go about writing the code to to uh, bring up a data call connection, okay. right? And eventually, how to uh, you know collect the data and then ship it. So all that documentation is readily available with the sample application. Awesome. Okay, so now we go to the Azure application, and then now we start sending the the, the actual data. Okay. So that one is basically just establishing the connection using. In that case, you're using the connection string, right? And then so right. basically produced. In IoT Hub, you have an, an ID that has been created. You have a connection string. You're using the connection string in your code, and it's going to right. start sending data up to IoT Hub. Right. Okay. That's correct. Which actually, in terms of code, because you're integrating our SDK, is a matter of mm -hmm. like creating a client and then just calling send events for sending data. That's right. That is correct. Okay, so I've started sending the data here, and then now I'm going to switch to the right hand of the screen where it's actually showing the the device explorer for the IoT hub. Okay, and we are monitoring the data on on uh, on this particular uh, device. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now okay. it's connected uh, on the right hand side. You can see it's yep. actually receiving events on the IoT hub. Nice. And, and uh, as we're pumping the data from the dev kit board here, for example, you know, some r random data like wind speed, temperature, humidity, uh, you know, uh, and at a certain frequency, right? Whenever we entered the command here, we said sample at this frequency and then ship the data over to the cloud. And that's exactly what it's doing. Okay. We're sampling at a certain rate and then getting this uh, data on the IoT hub here. Awesome, pretty straightforward. And, and because, once again, you're using the SDK that is provided, all the features of IT Hub are available when you're using this device, the device twin, the methods, the automatic device management features, and things like that. That's correct. Okay. And you can see how seamless it is to write an application, use the Qualcomm's LTE IoT SDK toolkit yep. to actually push the application. And you know this enables a lot of non-licensees as well to, to actually write that I end up Azure applications and uh, and basically take advantage of the Azure cloud. This is awesome. So we're going to add a link to where people can find more information about the, the, the dev kit, but also about this integration. Having the SDK by default on these devices will be super useful for developers. Um, do you have any anything you wanted to add? Uh, no, that's it. I think uh, we have pretty much shown that uh, you know we can take uh, any end, end user can take a module uh, like an end uh, uh, development board like this that's, you know, have a customer development board mm -hmm. uh, which has Qualcomm, uh, sorry, which has a Microsoft Azure pre-integrated into the Qualcomm chipset and write their end user applications. Uh, it could be any monitoring sensor based applications and then basically set up their Azure cloud account and use the live, uh, you know, over the air connection, data connection to actually ship this data to the Azure cloud. Fantastic. So, and, and, and writing and pushing these applications are made very easy using the Qualcomm LT IoT SDK. Awesome. Well, we're going to add, as was mentioning, the link in the description of this video. Uh, we invite everyone actually to go and check it out, get the dev kit, connect them to Azure. Uh, should be pretty straightforward as just demoed. Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, getting on Skype, for showing us all of that. And uh, we we'll look forward to have more interaction with you.
Yeah, thank you very much, Olivier, and thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe for the IoT Show.